11 month old baby weight gain what you need to know babies at 11 months old are typically growing at a rapid pace most babies at this stage may grow about 1.3 centimeters taller every month and gain around 200,250 grams every week however as they begin to walk and become more active their growth rate may start to slow down slightly parents may notice the Weight of an 11-month-old baby An 11-month-old baby weighing 8 kg or 8.5 kg is lower than the normal range. To accurately assess a baby's weight, compare it to the weight gained in the previous month. Weight of an 11-month-old baby If there is an increase in weight, it is still acceptable, as babies with acute illnesses, congenital diseases, or a history of prematurity or low birth weight may still have a lower weight than their peers. Weight of an 11-month-old baby Conversely, if the weight curve flattens out, especially if the baby hasn't gained weight in several months, parents should take their baby to a doctor for a checkup. Reasons why an 11-month-old baby may be underweight Inadequate diet Babies need a complete range of nutrients, including protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Difficulty with solid food Introduction Parents need to be patient and creative when introducing new foods to their baby. Reasons why an 11-month-old baby may be underweight medical conditions Some medical conditions, like infections, digestive problems, heart conditions, etc., can affect a baby's development. Tips for parents Monitor your baby's weight closely Record your baby's weight monthly and compare it to the growth chart. Provide a balanced diet Include foods rich in protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Tips for parents Introduce solid food gradually and patiently start with easily digestible foods and gradually increase the complexity of the food. Consult with your pediatrician if you have any concerns about your baby's weight, take them to a doctor for advice and a checkup. Note this information is for general knowledge only. Every baby develops differently, so it is essential to monitor your baby's growth closely and consult with your pediatrician for personalized care. Additional information Additional information World Health Organization WHO growth charts These charts provide a visual representation of the average height and weight of babies and children at different ages, based on data collected from many countries. You can use these charts to track your baby's growth and discuss any concerns with your pediatrician. Additional information Breastfeeding Breast milk provides all the nutrients a baby needs for the first six months of life. However, it's essential to introduce solid foods around six months old to provide additional nutrients and help babies develop their eating skills. Additional information Solid food introduction As babies become more active, they need more energy and nutrients. Solid food introduction should be gradual, starting with single ingredient purees and moving on to a wider variety of textures and flavors. Additional information Babield weaning This approach allows babies to self-feed from the beginning of solid food introduction. It involves offering babies finger foods that they can hold and put in their mouths. Additional information Food allergies While most babies can tolerate a wide range of foods, some may develop allergies. It's important to introduce new foods one at a time and watch for any signs of an allergic reaction. If you have any concerns, talk to your pediatrician. Additional information Remember, every baby is unique, and their growth patterns can vary. Don't hesitate to discuss any concerns with your pediatrician.